So it's been quite a long day for me. I've um, just been doing home ed. We took my dad out for a birthday lunch, so he turned 64, which is quite phenomenal. And we took him to, out for a really nice lunch. That was lovely. And then had to squeeze homeschool around that. And then I did, had a massage client, uh, just put the boys to bed. They're all hunky-dory. I've given them their massages, so they're like, gonna be out for the count anytime soon. Mark's out, he's gone out with some friends to Nando's and so I've got the house to myself now and I've been really looking forward to this evening. Um, my, my one goal really is to paint my toenails because it's March now, it's March people, so I'm gonna bring on the sunshine single-handedly by painting my toenails, so you're welcome. Uh, but I'm also decided I'm gonna have a bath first before I do that. Um, and I'm gonna, I just decided to use some oils. So I thought I'd share the oils I'm gonna use and why. So I'm gonna do a blend of geranium. Cause this is the oil of like self love. So I don't really like geranium all that much, but I know it's really good for me. And when you're in that kind of pamper mood, it's the right oil to choose. When it's really diluted, I don't mind it so, so much. Uh, ylang ylang. Um, most people, when they think of ylang ylang, think of the fact that it is a very powerful aphrodisiac. But what isn't so commonly known is ylang ylang is actually just an amazing oil to harmonize. So if you're feeling a bit frazzled, if you've had a long day, just a drop of ylang ylang somewhere on your feet maybe, or on your spine, on your belly button, or you could have a roller blend made. Ylang ylang is really, really, really useful oil. So that's going in the mix. Um, patchouli, again, I don't particularly like the smell. And you might be thinking, well, why Tash? Why would you use an oil you don't really like the smell of? It's because I understand why, what the oil offers my body and I know I need it. It's a little bit like sometimes when you know we eat our vegetables, we kind of know it's good for our body and we know we need it. So patchouli is good for me because it helps me let go. Let go of the things that I can't control. I can't control anything. <laughs> <laughs> All I can control is what oils I'm choosing to put on myself. So I'm going to control. I'm not even in control, am I? I'm, I'm making the right choice. Patchouli is going in it anyway. And again, when it's diluted, I don't use very much. One drop of each is all I'll need. And some carrier oil. You can use any carrier oil you like. And some good old lavender, just because it is lovely. Um, and it blends really, really nicely. Anyway, so that's me. I'm going to... Um, the Kind of the self tear care tip or one of the self-care tips that I'm offering you is the with a bath oil the tip is put it on you put the actual oils on you first so that they're going in your body they're on you and then leave it for a minute or two and then get in your bath and the heat of the water will actually encourage the essential oils to go into your bloodstream whereas if you were to make a bath oil and put it in the water it goes into the air primarily. And that's fine, because it smells nice, but oils in the bloodstream are gonna offer your body a lot more benefit. So there you go. Ah, I'll be back later, uh, let's chat some more. You need a vessel to carry it in, and actually I find these quite useful. So this is 10 mil, so I'm gonna fill it um, probably halfway up. And this is for like a half body massage. I'm not worried about putting it everywhere. Like I'm not gonna put it like on my calves and like on my triceps and hamstrings and that but I do want it to be kind of like full body-esque so five mil will be absolutely plenty this is the fractionated coconut oil you can use any oil you like knock yourself out and I'm gonna go for one drop each oh patchouli actually isn't smelling that bad for me today sometimes that really okay that has never taken that long I've been using these essential oils for six years, so I don't know what was that. It must have been the air trap or something. Anyway, one drop of patchouli, in it goes. Wang wang. And then it's just a case of mixing. Now, um, I did a poll on Instagram and someone wanted to know how to make a perfume rollable. That is how you make a perfume rollable. And then you would literally just then get a rollable topper and a lid. And you can take that with you anywhere you are. And you can just roll it nicely on like pulse points or anywhere where the blood 
kind of reaches the skin with a bit more excess so like pulse points neck belly button uh, feet and spine there's lots of nerve endings there as well so it's going to interact with the central nervous system which also is really good but for me this whole thing now is going to be my body massage then my bath is around i'm going to get in the bath paint my nails i'm going to have a really nice night so the bath was amazing of course and actually the smell of the oils combined was i was really surprised i like it a lot more than I thought I would um anyway now I'm downstairs I'm about to watch a chick flick and paint my nails so today was a really lovely day the sun has been shining all day and I took the boys um to the forest with some friends because they don't homeschool but the schools are on strike so I get to hang out with my friends a little bit more when the school is striking um and I thought now it's sunny and you can actually see I will show you my toenails. <laughs> so there they are. Proof that the sun is shining. I told you it would. What did I say? <laughs> 